What's up guys, it's Track with another Nerf Elite Junior review. Hopefully this one works uh, completely and I think that it would be difficult for it to run into smart AR issues as it doesn't have one. So launching right into it, this is the Nerf Elite Junior Flyer. Now this is the $10 model, which means that if price is an issue, this is the easiest way to introduce your six and up foam flinger into the hobby, kind of get them firing darts at their siblings or at least returning fire against their siblings if hypothetically, let's say they have difficulty priming a fully blown elite blaster or something along the line. That is after all, the entire purpose of the Nerf Easy Play is to bring that age barrier down just a little bit to foam flinging fun and introduce anybody into the, uh, the world of dart blasting. Now, interestingly enough, we complimented the other ones for coming with more than enough darts. And from the perspective of a single shooter, perhaps this, uh, this does, but it only has enough darts to load its uh, front rack on one side. Now, I guess I applaud them for it being symmetrical, but on the list of things that we would complain about but will not be complaining about, uh, this grip is way too small for me. Just like the trigger is way too large and the prime is overtly kind of obnoxiously huge, but it is an auto-retracting prime and it's actually a little stiffer than the one I reviewed before, the Explorer. However, it's designed to have a large enough prime that you could theoretically fit three size small fingers in there and rack it back as such. So it's designed to be ergonomically easy for a child to use. As such, the small grip and large trigger make a ton of sense. You want a trigger that can be squeezed with two fingers just in case you need that extra force as well as a grip that you can basically put as much of your hand in as possible because you're gonna be priming like that. So if you've ever watched children or <laughs> attempted to help them load and fire nerf blasters, you know that uh, you need a lot of durability and then the more purchase they can fit their digits on, is is just better in general. So like bow type products actually tend to be really good because while shooting an arrow is a difficult thing to do from a, uh, a dexterity sort of perspective, the fact that you can just kind of grab it and grab it and pull is very easy and intuitive as opposed to not fooling with magazines and what have you. So in that line, in that vein, we have a beveled front loader, which means that it's pretty forgiving with getting your dart in there. You've got an aimer, partially because this one is the Canadian model, but you have a site up here that's ginormous, very easy to theoretically teach those habits of like put the target between the three lines and then, you know, it is an elite dart, so you still will hit it, but it'll at least go in the right direction. Overall, the flyer is, is good looking. I mean, the design for this very much screams exactly what it is. To me, they almost have like a Buzz Lightyear-esque design. It feels like the kind of thing that you would go into the Space Rangers Academy with. However, that is a really good vibe for the projected age range. Uh, and the lack of paint on both sides is not a prohibitive thing just because of how the molding and the design works. You've got a lot of color splash on both sides. So when you fire the product, you get what appears, or at least in this case, feels to be a slightly lower powered sort of a blaster performance thing. But uh, let's go ahead, let's take it outside, let's put it over the chronograph and see how it actually performs. We might also load up the rack entirely with eight darts just because it drives me crazy that it didn't come with nine. Really felt like it should. All right, so we're out here with the Nerf Explorer Junior Flyer. And let's just see, this should be theoretically more uh, consistent than its Smart AR equivalents as it is a single shot blaster. 34, let's prime, load, 27. Error, kind of to be expected. That one floated up and still gave me an error. 36, 43, so pretty similar. I would say this is mid to high uh, 30s on average. We've got our target over here at 15 feet. Let's just see if $10 can do the trick. We'll even use their site, line it up exactly, and hey, maybe the, uh, maybe the old aimer there isn't a bad thing. Two for two, not bad. And we're clipping it at the tail end there, but I do want to point out I do like this, uh, this onboard ammo storage in addition to, well, there's still elite darts, right? Huh. <laughs> Just hitting the bully count. Overall, I think that this accomplishes the goal of Nerf Elite Junior fine, especially in an entry level kind of situation. And uh, I'm a fan. I think this one gets a huge thumbs up at 10 bucks if you're trying to get your youngest into the, uh, into the hobby 
into uh, blaster battles, I think this is a really great place to start that even the tiniest of digits should be able to navigate pretty effectively. So that's just my take. Let me know what your thoughts are on the line in general or this blaster in particular down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and bell uh, so that you get all the updates from the old Lord Draconical channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Much love, blast on, drac out. Thank you.